In this video, you'll learn how to add the gradient background when using the Divi theme. When creating a page or custom theme template in Divi, you can add a gradient background to a section, row, or column to the module. You can use multiple combinations of colors. You can use three colors or more. To achieve this functionality, all you need to do is first log into your WordPress dashboard and edit an existing page with Divi Builder. I'm editing this page, and as you can see, this section is here. It has various rows and columns with some text modules and a contact form. To add a gradient background, simply go to the section Settings. On the Settings panel, open the background block under the Content tab. Click the Gradient option to add the gradient background. And you can click the plus icon to select the colors of the gradient. You can see the gradient background has been added to the section's background. As you can see, there is a new setting item called Gradient Stops that appears after you click on the plus icon. You can use this setting option to define the colors you want to use on the gradient. By default, the gradient already contains two colors. To change the default color, simply click the dot and select the color you want from the color picker, or you can choose from the customized color palette as well. You can adjust the gradient stops like this. You can also configure other related settings like selecting the gradient type. Linear, circular, elliptical, and conical. You can select any as per your requirement and then adjust the gradient stops. To add another color, you can hover your cursor over the line between the colors that have been added, the dots, and click the plus icon. This will add another dot. Simply click the dot to specify the color. You can repeat the steps above to add more colors. You can add as many colors as you want for your gradient. You can now style up your gradient like this. You can also remove the gradient stop like this. To set the gradient direction, you can set the value on the gradient direction option. Once you're satisfied with your gradient, don't forget to save the changes. This was all about how to add the gradient background when using the Divi theme in WordPress. Now, you can also learn some amazing Elementor tricks and tips. I'll link the video in the description below, or you can also click on the eye icon on the top right corner of your screen to view the video. That's it for today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button. If you're new to our channel, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our future videos. Thanks for watching. Until next time.